So guys, today Funko announced their official Discord server and took it down in the same day. You can imagine what happened. We also do have a couple other updates, so let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Funko Bob video. Today we do have a couple different news updates for you as well as I wanted to discuss the entire Discord X Funko situation that happened today. So roughly three and a half, four hours ago, Funko announced their official Discord on Twitter. People started joining, it started off pretty good, everybody saying hi to each other, everybody meeting new people. And then, a lot of people realized that there were only two moderators in there, and they were not active at all. One was the, I think, NFT token head, and then some other random person. No active moderators. You can imagine how that went. Now, I jumped into the Discord once like 500-ish members were in there, so I was there a little bit early. It wasn't too crazy. I commented a little bit and chatted a little bit. People were going crazy, though. People were able to add everyone, so they kept spamming that. The whole Discord server, every single um, little server and every single little tab and channel, excuse me, was just flooded with spam, flooded with links, flooded with people promoting themselves, flooded with gifts. It was an absolute mess and chaos. I don't know what they were thinking, announcing a Discord without any active moderators and then not turning off a lot of the active like uh, permissions. Oh my, oh my gosh. It was so bad, guys. If you weren't there, they officially like turned off all the channels and turned off all commenting on it because it went that crazy. Like literally, it went up and went down the same exact day. Did they deserve this? No. Was it hilarious? Absolutely. It was just insanity. Some of the things people were commenting were crazy. There was, there was just so many bad things as well. Like some of those people really need some help. I'm not gonna lie. Like, good lord. Anyways, though, in the spirits of Funko announcing their Discord. I made this little skit for you guys. You guys have been asking for skits, so enjoy. Hey guys, I have a big announcement. Today, Funko started a Discord server. This is to service the fans better, get to know them better, talk with them, interact with them. I think this is going to be a great overall idea, and we just launched it today. You gave them what? They're already mean to us enough on Twitter. Why would you think this is a good idea? You gave them Discord access? Oh, this is so bad. And you launched it. You already launched it. Why didn't you? Why didn't, why didn't you tell us? Why? Why didn't you tell us? Yes, it did go live today. As a matter of fact, we actually made the announcement on Twitter. And look, we already have people joining, a lot of people commenting, saying this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is so great, probably one of our best ideas yet. Oh, I bet they did say it's great. Oh, I bet they did. <sighs> oh, and you announced it on Twitter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You, you, you seem so happy about that. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Now, of course, we do want our social media team's input on this, so please check out the Discord server, let us know what you think. The only thing we didn't add just yet is moderators, but we'll get to that. Oh, now you want us to look over it. Isn't that grand? And you didn't add any moderators. Why didn't you add any moderators? They're so important. Oh my god, I gotta look. I gotta look. So the reason moderators weren't added is because we worked on it all night and then we were tired and we were thinking maybe they need moderators, but the Funko community is amazing, so I doubt we need it. What's the worst they could really do? Just say something bad about Funko? Oh, of course you were tired. That's why your Discord of uh, 1,000 plus members in five minutes didn't need any moderators. Of course. Yeah, yeah, we believe in our fanatics, so what's the worst they really could say? Let's chat. Let's chat. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say a generic message like, Hi, my name is Steve from Funko. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Is there a problem with the server? What's that look for? So, sir, yeah, they, uh... <laughs> sir, they told me to go Funko myself, to, to put it in uh, less explicit terms. Um... Oh! 
should probably come look at this. How bad could it really be? Wh no. 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 They're gonna do what to a Funko Pop? Oh! Oh my gosh! Why? Yeah, I think you were right. I think we need some moderators. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't hear you. Could you? Could you repeat that a little bit louder? I said I think you were right and we need some moderators in the chat, all right? No way. Are you Are you sure? Oh, look, they're adding in a bunch of inappropriate images. This is so fun. So I'm going to leave this Discord server in your very, very capable hands. If anybody asks whose idea this was, blame Jeffrey. Sorry, Jeffrey. Please, I just got this job. Now, if you didn't know, that skit was based off of true events. That's exactly how it went down. Don't question it. Now, jumping into the rest of our Funko news today. Firstly, we did have Omega Red finally drop over on Walgreens' website as in stock, so you can actually purchase it if you do want to. Just a pre-warning, though, Walgreens shipping is not the best. So, you risk the chance of actually getting a damage pop. But you're welcome to try to hunt for it in store. That might be a lot harder, though. Speaking of Marvel announcements, we did get the last wave, I think, of Miss Marvel Funko Pops here. We do have a Funko Shop exclusive of her using her power. We have the Target exclusive, I cannot remember his name off the top of my head, as well as the Amazon exclusive. I think the exclusives for Miss Marvel are definitely awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really like the fact that they used her powers in there. The stepping stones on the Amazon exclusive, I think, was really great. I think it's metallic as well, which looks really awesome. And the only common announced in this wave was Aisha. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And she she is showing an October release date. I just looked up his name really quickly. Kamran there, I think that's how you pronounce it as well. We've seen a couple episodes. I have not finished the last two. Anyways, though, the Target exclusive um, didn't show a release date on the website, as well as the two Miss Marvel slash Kamala Khan Funko Pops. The Funko Shop one's going to go live later. As far as the Amazon exclusive, it hasn't gone live yet, so we don't know the release date. Lastly, for our Marvel announcements, we did get two brand new Target exclusives, and these look amazing. Firstly, we do have a brand new Miles Morales comic cover here, and when I tell you guys, Guys, I definitely want this one. It says Ultimate Fallout, Spider-Man, no more there. He's holding the mask, standing on a brick there. I think this is so freaking cool. This is going to look great next to the Venom comic covers, as well as the Spider-Man Walmart exclusive one. I'm really excited for this one. I am kind of curious what you guys think of this comic cover. I think a lot of people overall really do enjoy this one, and definitely one of the best ones for Marvel they've released. Now, we also did have a Scarlet Witch versus Agatha Harkness here from WandaVision. Check out the details on that. That's really cool. So basically, I feel like they kind of just rinsed and repeated the same thing as the Doctor Strange uh, versus like Scarlet Witch from the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness um, movie, excuse me. I don't know if it's the exact same molds there with like Agatha in the same way as Doctor Strange, but they basically rinsed and repeated the same thing. I think we could have definitely got like a mold change for her. Either way though, a lot of people are really excited. I think it looks fantastic. I love the colors meshing up. Now I definitely will be picking up the Miles Morales comic cover and then I'll probably get the moment for Bailey. Our next NFT Funko Pop drop was just announced and we do have Jay and Silent Bob Funko here. So they actually went with a little bit of a graphic J, um, like J pop there. It's very interesting. You can kind of see him with no pants on, as well as Silent Bob there with gas mask and Freddy Funko with movie meal there. So definitely a great selection here. <laughs> I can't get over that J with no pants. That that is Funko's really really taking ideas out of the bag there, good lord. Anyways though guys, this drop does happen on July 26th at 11 a.m. PT and 2 p.m. EST. And thank you Dish Trackers for the collage here. Also shared from Dish Trackers, we do have a look at the Funko Soda for Emerald City Comic Con here, or Funkon Part 2, and that is Crusaderette here. And uh, we did actually know that this was coming based off the leak, so kind of cool that that one panned out. I'm kind of curious to see what else does pan out. This one's limited to 5,000 pieces, so, I guess if you want it, I think it might be kind of hard to get because it is limited, but I don't know how many people love this character specifically. Now lastly, we did have our Fun Days box of fun drop today. Let me know down below, were you guys able to get a box, were you not able to get a box? If you haven't checked out my other video today, I actually shared my entire experience. It was so nerve-wracking for like 15 to almost 20 minutes straight with that drop, staring at the clock for it to change that one minute, hand shaking. 
it was it was crazy guys I had a lot of issues checking out so make sure to check out that video if you guys want to see my full experience and maybe it was similar to yours I hope a lot of people were able to get this box I know not everybody is able to because it is limited but um, I still think a good majority of able, people were able to regardless of the um, the issues going on I was lucky to get it I'm grateful that I got it because geez that site was an absolute mess but let me know if you were able to get a box or if you were not able to get a box now I would like to say a big shout out to all the patron supporters of the channel thank you guys so much you guys absolutely rock if you guys want to check out the patreon the link is down below we have a patreon only discord where we share a lot of information updates and more we also do have a facebook group with over 14,000 members that's buy sell and trade and make sure to be following me on all my social medias all at skittle rampage for more updates all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye